willing to, to criticize and to protect uh, every single breach in their uh, perspective, every single breach of the human rights or the or protection of the data and so forth and so on. We don't have, I just want to say, this is a uh, news, we don't have a preservation order. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, no, okay. So we don't have preservation order yet, but uh, two or three weeks, maybe one month ago, I um, submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Justice because right now we are in the middle of the changes of some of the substantive and procedural laws in Serbia with regards to the criminal uh, framework. And I specifically uh, uh, made an ask uh, Minister of Justice to take into the consideration adoption of the uh, preservation order, which should, if, which if adopted, is going to be up to 90 days, possibly uh, 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 able to be to be extended to one year period, which is up to the retention of the data time limit and so forth, so forth and so on. So I believe that uh, with the regards to the data preservation, we are going to be on the ball from the. January or April next year. So all in all, five minutes, that's it. <laughs> Bojana, what, what do you need to know from him to, to uh, issue a, a search warrant or something? What are the requirements? What do you expect from Branko if he asks, comes with a search, request for search or seizure? I I understood. Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, what I would need is uh, um, uh, not quite interesting because I'm a, 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 an appellate court judge. So stupid. it would be for the judge in the first instance, and it would be sufficient uh, 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 grounds for uh, for um, suspicion. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, enough enough uh, evidence uh, for a reasonable doubt. Uh, for a, for a particular suspect, and uh, uh, when well then it's another step uh, for the judge to uh, give an um, evaluation of those of the, those evidence, and then uh, if he decided if it is efficient, he would uh, an issue an, an order. Just in short, to supplement this. Uh, uh, request uh, the factual state, the evidentiary state, which is uh, supporting the uh, 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 um, existence of the suspicion that a particular criminal act has been conducted, and that there is uh, uh, s uh, enough of the grounds for reasonable doubt that a particular person committed a criminal act. Then an address. Uh, uh, and that's it, all in all. Any <coughs> you, you want to do it at the end? Yes, I think, but I mean this... To collect things, because make things may come up again and again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. okay. 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 Uh, I'm Jarko Pajkovic, I uh, come from Montenegro. And uh, our country uh, implemented uh, safeguards uh, in our legal framework uh, through uh, constitution of uh, Montenegro and through uh, several uh, other laws. Um, in constitution of Montenegro provides uh, multiple articles integrity of the basic human rights uh, of the citizen of Montenegro. Article 42 uh, stipulates the integrity of letter privacy, phone calls and other means of communications and, uh, that can be waived uh, of this only on basis of court decision if it's necessary for the conduct of criminal proceedings uh, or for the security reasons of Montenegro. The Article 43 guarantees the protection of personal data as well as the use of such information without purpose uh, for which they were collected. In 
these sections is prescribed as well our ego protection in case of misconduct of such a like that. Mm, the Article 40 provides the right of respecting the private and family life. Uh, Montenegro has also adopted uh, the law on the protection of personal data, which in a clear and precise way describes in which way you can collect and proceed data related to personality and uh, enforcement of uh, this act shall be done by the Agency for Protection of Personal Data. Uh, for example, uh, of interpretation of this law in order to limit the rights arising out of authorization, so law enforcement, uh, Agency for Protection of Personal Data has also announced that until 2011, the authorized police officers could obtain certain communication listings of internet service providers as well as providers of uh, mobile telephony in order to conduct preliminary criminal uh, investigation and giving such decision by that agency, the same can be now possible only with a court, court order. Uh, we also uh, adopt uh, the law of confidentiality and uh, Montenegro has the Human Rights Ombudsman as a body whose recommendations have an obliga obligatory uh, character and are related to the statements based on co concrete acts of human rights violations. Uh, as the most important deed in, uh, in the implementations Article 15 of these conventions, um, is a criminal procedure code, a new one uh, uh, which uh, ad was adopted by uh, 2011 11, and uh, provided uh, in a series of articles limited action of both uh, prosecutors and police in these investigations. For example, Article, article 75 stipulates uh, that the com computer search and similar devices for automatic data processing may be performed only by court order. And Article 82 um, provides that during the search of computers and similar de devices for automatic data processing, those objects and that data which are not required to conduct proceedings have have to be returned to those users and the personal data collected by that search can be used only for purposes of uh, criminal in investigations and thereafter will be uh, deleted as soon as the purpose is fulfilled. Mm, during the temporary confiscations of objects uh, which refers to the data stored in uh, devices for automatic or electronic data processing, there is multiple of restrictions related to the fact uh, that certain categories of people do not have to give that kind of information, despite the court order. And for instance, uh, if it refers to individuals who, who by such acts would commit a breach of keeping official secret, and they could be uh, religious confessors, lawyers, doctors, journalists, and others, only if these individuals got those informations from defendant in the executions of their profession. Uh, uh, the Article 87 uh, provides that during the revision of those files or confiscated information must be taken care to, to don't let an uh, authorized person to be familiar with its content. Uh, the most important uh, articles uh, are that one uh, regarding the measures of secret supervisions. Uh, in case of uh, criminal investigations, uh, if we use the, that kind of measure, uh, uh, measure of secret supervisions, uh, uh, our CPC provides a series of solutions dealing with the limitations of violations of human rights. Um, implementations of such a measure commits a breach of the right privacy. Uh, uh, 
uh, these measures can only be prescribed by order of the investigation judge and the uh, durations of these measures is maximum seven months. Uh, if companies are involved in the implementations of these measures, officials and responsible persons of that company are ob obligated to keep as secret information so information they have obtained in this process. Um, by the provisions of uh, the act uh, is provided uh, that such measures have to be done by the police which must take care to violate the pri privacy of individuals that measures is referred to as less as possible. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and Uh, if the criminal proceedings hasn't, hasn't been initiated against a specific person or of the material obtained by applications of these measures will be submitted to, to a judge in charge for investigations who will destroy the material and make a report about it. Uh, the same procedure shall be followed if some of material obtained through these measures can be used and uh, is not needed for the conduct. Uh, he also, before material is destroyed, the investi investigation judge shall inform the person against whom such ex action is taken unless it could uh, jeopardize the investigation for another crime. Okay. It's, uh, I have many, many uh, other articles, but I have no enough time to, to to talk about you, but we have uh, implemented uh, the whole legal framework uh, with uh, uh, regarding the article 15 now. If there are any questions, uh, I will answer them. <coughs> okay, I mean, we can discuss later in the context. I mean, one question I would also have is that you don't have a specific preservation provision but you use this temporary seizure, and uh, which seems to be a, a complicated way of, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we take uh, the classical way to, to preserve, like uh, court order uh, from uh, uh, in charge for investigation. Uh, for me, it's uh, okay because uh, we are a small country. We can provide this uh, court order very fast uh, in one hour or two hours because uh, there is uh, some some speed of Okay, uh, Diana Stilo from uh, Ministry of Justice of Albania. Well, if you ever, uh, if you ever seen before, also in our country profile, we are one of the countries that, uh, before the crime has taken place in our country, we put in place the legislation. So uh, we have uh, uh, signed this uh, convention since uh, uh, early 2001, and then uh, we also have uh, done all the approximation uh, with our uh, uh, domestic law that uh, all the requirements of this convention we have uh, uh, imposed in our domestic law, substantial and procedural law. And uh, regarding the Article uh, 15, uh, our constitution also, like uh, all other constitutions, guarantees the general uh, uh, rights of the person and even the personal uh, data and the privacy of uh, the individuals. Afterwards, also the uh, substantial and procedural code, um, also before the amendments done on uh, 2008, also uh, after the, the amendments uh, done on this uh, procedural code and substantial code, code they uh, provide really good uh, aspects of, uh, they provide the uh, protection of the rights of the individuals especially the supervision of the court that uh, when the prosecutor takes the uh, issues the order then uh, the court has to supervise this order 
and other uh, cases, the, uh, it's only the court that issues those uh, orders. Also, we have, um, um, to, to complete this uh, legislation, we have uh, the law on uh, data protection, that uh, there is a commissioner and that is provided in this law, the commissioner, uh, the state commissioner for providing, the, for uh, protecting data of the individuals, that really guarantees the, the rights of uh, the, the individuals. Uh, also, the electronic, the law on electronic communication. There are in Article Five. There are uh, provisions that uh, protect those uh, in, uh, uh, safeguards of individuals. The ombudsman, but uh, the theoretically the ombudsman is doing this because in practical we don't have any practical uh, case that the ombudsman has uh, interfered in this uh, area. Let's say that uh, we are not so much exposed as a little as a little country to this um, um, crime, cyber crime, because uh, only last uh, two or three years we have uh, almost a fully database system in all areas, in justice, in uh, and in other other areas. Uh, also for the internet that is uh, spread out last uh, three years very much in Albania. And uh, now these last two years are the epoch of internet in my country. So we are not uh, so well exposed to this uh, sort of crime. But uh, we are covered uh, on uh, data protection, on uh, protection of individuals, on, uh, on application of this uh, Article 15. I'm not going through article by article from Article 7, 16 to 21 of the Convention because uh, uh, all these articles are imposed to the, our procedural code. So um, I think this is enough with the uh, presentation of my country. If any further question, I'm open. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed, the, the legal framework of Albania is very, very close to the Budapest Convention also when it comes to the procedural law, substantive law also. Um, actually, Diana did a good job uh, in, in 2007, 2008 on, on that. And um, the, the question is, as you said, there are not many real investigations going on. So, for example, preservation has not really been tested uh, in, in practice. Uh, maybe domestically, yes, but not not in international cases. Yeah, it's it's uh, in international this uh, 2000, this last year, in this year uh, last uh, month, we had the second uh, request internationally for uh, data preservation. So we, we are beginners, but uh, our way is uh, really laid down with the substantial and the procedural code. It's completed, almost. But we have the problem of uh, uh, differences between preservation and uh, a Caesar and expedat. I think this is the most issue that uh, we didn't face up as of now. So they can, then we can make the real distinguish practically. Uh, excuse me for the intervention. I only wanted to add that uh, we also have signed and ratified with no reservations the additional protocol against uh, xenophobia and racism, and that means it's a step ahead for further protection of human rights in Albania. While we have criminalized all those uh, uh, all those uh, criminal offenses that are uh, uh, that are in this additional protocol. Thank you. Very good. You know. You know, when we have projects like the cybercrime at IPA or cybercrime at EAP, we have to report progress and implementation. And they said we have to put in figures. And now in Albania, we have a 200% increase now in pres international preservation requests uh, just last month. Uh, because there were zero cases before, now you had two, and I think this is uh, it's getting started. Very good. Um, It's okay. My name is Jovan Ilievski. I'm a uh, uh, head prosecutor on the prosecution for uh, prosecuting organized crime and corruption in the Republic of Macedonia. Let me first introduce uh, the members of our delegation. Uh, from my 
my right side is Mr. Marcos Zvrleski, the chief prosecutor of the basic public prosecution in Skopje, and Tony Jankowski, the uh, head of the Department for Financial Crime in the Ministry of Interior. In the course of providing evidence, no matter if it, is, if it comes for conventional way of collecting evidence, such as uh, searching home and other premises, and when the evidence is deducing with confirmation of deducated items, the persons have a right of attorney. The Convention of Cybercrime focused the basic interest not only in cybercrime, but also in the part of protection of human rights to persons who are involved in cases regarding cybercrime. The Republic of Macedonia is promoting an internet based on its core values and objectives, namely human rights, pluralist democracy and the rule of law. The strat strategy identifies challenges and corresponding responses to enable state and non-state actors together to make the Internet a space which is inclusive and people-centered. The existing framework of international law, including human ri rights law, is as a matter of principle equally applicable online as it is offline. Namely, the system must provide conditions for people to trust the Internet. The protection of the personal data and respect for privacy on the Internet are indispensable. On other side, the opportunities of the Internet carries many risks, such as cybercrime. All governments must ensure that the rights of children and young people are not violated and that their human rights are respected in all areas, including on the Internet, as a priority. We cannot accept images of sexual abuse of children circulating on the Internet. Therefore, our Constitution is providing several articles regarding the base of human rights stipulating, stipulated in the in international conventions and agreements, and of course, those rights and their protection are I incorporated in our criminal, substantive and procedural law. That means that all criminal acts named and defined in the Convention are in our criminal code as special criminal acts and of course all the procedural needs to ensure that those crimes can be at first detected and then through official channels of our legal system bring in face of the courts. So the Republic of Macedonia, as a party to the Convention and as an active member and participant to the extended protect for upgrading the domestic law in area of cybercrime, implemented all, all the necessary tools for combating this new type of crime which is penetrating in all parts of society. In Republic of Macedonia, beginning from the basic state constitutive acts up to the acts which protect the fundamental rights on the most rigid way, the basic human rights and freedoms are secured. In fact, the fund fundament of the Constitution of Republic of Macedonia is protection the basic human rights and freedoms that are recognized in international law. This clearly shows that provision of Macedonian state to de determine the basic human rights and freedoms as a core impetus into the development of the domestic law. Having criminal provisions for protection of the basic human rights is stipulated with the substantive provision of the criminal procedure code presumption of innocence. Also, according with the provisions of criminal procedure code, persons have a right or the court duty is to inform about their rights in a language that they understand regardless their position, accused, witnessed or forensic. 
We, we as a multi-ethnical society and state which is very active in protection of the rights of the minorities must be aware of the threats of international inputs and direct attacks of the most important right of the person regarding COVID recognition. Also, as a state that is fully aware of the rights of the minors, we have special articles regarding the their rights, especially using the internet in indecent photos and videos in which the final victims are the minors. The new ideas in the economy world are always related to the internet. In that branch of society or economy, we establish a special ministry for electronic society. And that ministry, with cooperation with Ministry of Economy and Finance, are ground for a new type of businesses, especially e-commerce. So, we have over 50 firms who are dealing their business only in Internet, and all the conventional firms nowadays use the Internet for their daily communication with other firms. That is the base of the new threats and the place of a new strike against them. Uh, regarding this uh, issue, we as a modern society, uh, we use uh, in our domestic law the Budapest Convention articles. Finally, our new criminal uh, procedural code established the new role of the prosecutor's office. That means that this office is now the leader of the investigation and of course ac activities taken of the judicial police are under his direct supervision. That means that the role in the part of protection of the hu human rights is now taken on the high level of his responsibility. Now, not the court, but the prosecution, prosecutor is the main gu guardian of the rights of all participants in the criminal case. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, I have a, I have a sh short question. When, when you talk about preservation in Macedonia, uh, you use uh, you use temporary seizure, right? And h how does that work if you receive an international request for preservation? Do you need an MLA, a mutual legal assistance request, or can you implement it uh, again locally without an MLA request? Usually, <coughs> Can you hear? Can you hear? Can everybody hear? Okay. Go ahead. Now? Okay. It's okay. <coughs> uh, usually, if we uh, uh, have a request uh, for international uh, request, we did like uh, on our case. We put in the paper and uh, out through the uh, through the court. We asked, uh, we asked the seizure or uh, preservation. Uh, like a prosecutor stay in front, uh, like uh, our own case. Before uh, two weeks, we have a very good uh, and big case uh, uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the request of FBA. If we, uh, we are going through the, the court in this uh, moment, uh, according to uh, the old CPC. Uh, after that, we have to go through the investigative judge or ju judge of uh, pre-investigative uh, uh, procedure. But this means, that means at the moment, for preservation, if Franco, for example, from Serbia, as one of the contact points, sends you a request, an email, a fax, you know, not an MLA request, 
can you then in Macedonia go to a church, or an investigative church, and ask for a temporary uh, seizure? Okay. Yes, we, uh, we uh, have uh, opportunity to deal with that request. Mm -hmm. uh, taking the uh, case like our own. Okay, thank you. And your new CPC will enter into force in three weeks, right? In November, at the end of November. Next year. Ah, okay. I thought it would enter into force November this year. November next year, okay. Can you hear me? Hello to everybody, I'm Mirella Rikovic and I work in the So I'm Mirella Rikovic and I work in the Ministry of Justice for Bosnia and Herzegovina as an expert advisor for the normative legal affairs. First of all, I would like to welcome you in behalf of delegation of Bosnia and Herzegovina and in behalf of myself. Also, I would like to thank to our host and uh, to the Council of Europe for having us here in this beautiful country, if we are not getting lost. So, uh, I will skip the purpose of presentations and meaning, and I will go to overview of implementation of Article 15 in the legislation of Bosnia and Herzegovina regarding the safeguards and conditions. So, rights of every individual in Bosnia and Herzegovina are set for by BH Constitution, international agreements, and conventions signed by Bosnia and Herzegovina. The preamble of a BH Constitution sets for determination to fully implement international humanitarian law in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article 2 of Bosnia Constitution stipulates that Bosnia and Herzegovina and both entities. I just want to mention that Bosnia and Herzegovina has a two, two entities, the Federation of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Republika Srpska and also the Brčko district. So Article 2 of uh, BH Constitution stipulates that Bosnia and Herzegovina and both entities shall ensure the highest level of internationally recognized human rights and fundamental freedoms. The rights and freedoms set forth in European Convention for the Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms and its protocols shall apply directly in Bosnia and Herzegovina and shall have priority over all other laws. Annex 6 uh, to the BH Constitution relates to the Human Rights Agreement, which provides to all persons with the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina the highest level of international recognized human rights and fundamental freedoms. Those rights and freedoms also include the right to life, the right to fair hearing in the civil and criminal matters and others' rights relating to criminal proceedings, the right to private and family life, home and correspondency. So, as I mentioned, the Bosnia and Herzegovina consists of two entities. That's why we have the criminal procedure, four criminal procedure codes. The criminal procedure code at the state level, at the entities level, and the Brčko district. So now we'll go to the Article 16 and 17 of Convention. Uh, Article uh, 16 is regulated by the criminal procedure code of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Article 72A, uh, ordered to the telecommunication operator. So I will skip the, the provisions and I will just say that, as you can see here on presentation, if you can see actually, so this is the illustration of the legal solutions of criminal procedure code in Bosnia and Herzegovina. That in unique way has solved a long-standing dilemma about the method of obtaining data available to telecommunications operators. And these solutions also represent, uh, represents a compromise between two recognized tendencies in, in the criminal procedure. The tendency for ensuring efficiency of criminal proceedings in the fight against crime where telecommunications data have been collected with the investigation action of authorized officials and based on orders of the preliminary procedure judge and the tendency for protection of rights and freedoms of citizens where these data aimed at protection of the right to privacy as referred in the Article 2 of the Constitution Bosnia-Herzegovina 
and Article 8 of the European Convention for the Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms, having been collected exclusively within special investigative action in the form of surveillance and technical recording of telecommunications. This means that such a legal solution is in the line with Article 16 of the Convention on Cybercrime and the Article 8 of the European Convention for the Protection of Human Rights, given the fact that obtaining of data doesn't have a function of interception of data, but only of an action aimed of obtaining evidence by seizure of objects which include computers and similar devices for automatic data processing. Uh, article 17 is also pro uh, just partly regulated by this article. So although in application of convention the code use the term computer data, which means any presentation of facts, informations, or concept in a form suitable for processing in a computer systems, including any program capable of inducting the computer system to execute a certain function. So Article 18. Article 18 of the Convention demands each party to adopt measures necessary for service provider to submit relevant information on subscriber. Unfortunately, the term subscriber information is not defined in VH code. Implementation of Article 19. So the criminal procedure code, Article 51, the force special procedure guarantees for search of dwellings, other premises and movable property outside the dwelling as well as persons. So these provisions govern the protection of private and family life as well as home and correspondency various at international level. Search of mobile property shall include a search of computer systems, devices for automated and electronic data storage and mobile phones if there are sufficient grounds for suspicion that the perpetrator, the accessory trace of the criminal offense or objects relevant to the criminal proceedings may be found there. A search warrant may be issued by the court on the request of prosecutor. If the preliminary proceeding judge determines that the request for search warrant is justified, he shall the grant, request, and issue a search warrant. So it's important that personal data obtained by the search may be used only for the purpose of criminal proceedings and shall be deleted immediately after the purpose is fulfilled. Uh, also, uh, the Article uh, 65, the Criminal Procedure Code, order for seizure of objects is regulated in this article of the Convention. Objects, they are subject of pledge according to criminal court or they may be uh, or they may be used as evidence in the criminal proceedings shall be seized temporarily and their custody shall be secured with regard to court decision so i will just go through the list of common features they include the legal ground for them taking the action of seizure of object is established with the legal standard order for seizure of objects and property is normally issued by court on the motion of pr prosecutor the right of a person whose objects or property have been seized are protected through the right of appeal. In the sense of that, the product of legal seizures could not be used as evidence in the criminal proceedings. So regulations concerning the seizures of objects also apply to data stored in the computer or devices for automatic data processing, which enable permanent storage of data and programs for the purpose of their subsequent use. It's believed that application of the rule of this article provides procedural guarantees upon the seizure of computer and similar data. In the process of obtaining uh, such a data, a special care should be taken with respect to regulation governing the maintenance of confidential of collected data. So now we are to move to Article 20 and 21. So in my opinion, the Articles 20 and 21 of the Convention are connected in a way that both articles uh, look for the above-mentioned information in real time. Criminal Procedure Code of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Article 116, Types of Special Investigation Action and Conditions is regulated in this article. So if evidence cannot be obtained on another way, the special investigation measures may be ordered against the person if there are suspicion that he has committed or has a long with other persons taking part in committing or participating in the commission of criminal offense. When we talk about measures, I mean by that I mean surveillance and technical recording of telecommunications, 
access to the computer systems and computerized data processing. Competence to initiate the effort uh, for mentioned measures lies in the hands of prosecutor, on yet only a court, I mean, by that I mean preliminary proceeding judge, may issue an order. All information, data, and objects are obtained through the application of the measures as well as report must be submitted by police authorities to the prosecutor. The prosecutor should be bound to provide the preliminary proceeding judge with a written report on the measures undertaken. Criminal justice responds to such un un uh, unlawful behavior. It's accompanied by the demands for replacing the fra framework of the rule of the law. Therefore, the mentioned measures in the fight against organized crime are labeled as temporary restriction of the fundamental rights and freedoms in the process of collecting data and evidence needed for conducting of criminal proceedings. This special investigation action doesn't only restrict, restrict the right to privacy of suspect, but also indirectly of every third party with whom the suspect makes contact by means of telecommunications. This undercover investigation also includes electronic mail, email, as well as other forms, or or other forms of communications taking place via computer devices and other inform information technology systems. In this respect, the fact by which surveillance and technical recording of telecommunications relates, as well as surveillance of communications transferred via computer, is considered to be correct attitude. The complexity of this special investigation action is also demonstrated in the fact of collection of data on who called who in specific or real time. So personal data uh, in accordance with international standards may be collected, specified and used only under legal, uh, only legal conditions. So it's important to say that Bosnia and Herzegovina has a law on protection of personal data which is adopted in 2005. The purpose of this law is to secure the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina for every individual, respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, the right to privacy with regard to the processing of personal data relating to him or her. Uh, also, the Agency for, for Protection of Personal Data is an independent administrative organization whose competence is governed by the above mentioned law and it takes care of protection of personal data in accordance with inter international agreements. So uh, I can say that Bosnia and Herzegovina is making efforts to fight cybercrime and to harmonize its national legislation with the Convention on Cybercrime while taking into account the protection of human rights guaranteed, guaranteed by the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the European Convention of Human Rights as integral part of the Constitution. So that will be it. Thank you very much for your attention. And also some nice pictures on the, uh, on the side. Just, just one short comment on, on Article 16. Uh, Article 16 is limited to uh, telecom service providers, right? And no That's right. <laughs> Exactly, and you may have to work on that because uh, under the Budapest Convention, it w should apply to any legal or physical person. I know. Okay, I know. so you're, you're, you're fully yes. aware and you're controlling also the process. Also, I would like to say that Bosnia and Herzegovina is, play, is planning to do amendments on our criminal procedure code regarding the, the convention, so it's, we will have soon more information about that. Okay, thank you. Who is, who is next? Hello to, hello to all participants of this event. I represent the Republic of Belarus and I am the head of uh, Department of Investigative uh, Crimes against Informational Security and inte Intellectual Property. Uh, questions of human rights, fundamental freedoms, democracy and rule of the law have the international character and each state, including Belarus, takes measures to observance of these specified conventional norms. 
the state has obligated to protect the citizen from criminal uh, and including computer crimes. Uh, Belarus uh, took some measures directed on fine against cyber crimes. In particular, such as creation of specialized units in of Ministry of Interior and Investigative Committee, in production criminal responsibility for a number of actions in this sphere, and the state provide law enforcement some procedural powers for effective investigations. In Belarus, we have some conditions and safeguards which shall provide for adequate protection of human rights and liberties. The Russian Constitution provides an adequate legal framework for the protection of human rights. According to Article mm, 28 of the Constitution, everyone has the right to protection against illegal intervention in its private life, including secret of its correspondence and telephone and other messages. According to Article 23 of the Constitution, restriction of the rights and personal freedoms is allowed only in the case provided by the law in interest of national security, a public order, protection, the rights and freedoms of other persons. It is necessary to note that potential restriction of the rights and freedoms of the citizens should be carried out in strict accordance with the law. Also, we have some laws uh, such as about telecommunication and private data of person which have also some and other conditions to uh, protect uh, pr protect the uh, rights of people. According to the Court of Criminal Procedure of the Republic of Belarus, preliminary investigation on criminal cases about crimes against information security and other high-tech crimes is made by investigators of Investigative Committee of Republic. Thus, investigators, being officials, fully observe procedure of investigation <laughs> which is carried out on the basis of provisions of the Code of Criminal Procedure, providing protection of the rights, freedoms, honor, and dignity of citizens. According to Article 13 of Criminal Procedure Code, everyone has the right to protection against illegal intervention in its private life, including from infringement of secrets of its correspondence. The siege seizure of uh, mm, this information uh, can made be only in cases and in order provided by the, by the criminal procedure court. Thus, behind work of the investigator, continuous procedural control is carried out from the chief of investigative division, who is obligated to carry out the procedural management of investigation, control of legality of actions of investigation on investigators. Uh, according to Article 44 pr of Criminal Procedure Court, prosecutor carries out supervision of investigation of criminal cases by the investigator. Uh, uh, he can cancel, cancel illegal, illegal and unreasonable resolution of uh, prosecutor uh, or chief investigative division or investigator. And also prosecutor can authorize a resolution of investigator to a search or seizure of documents containing the state secrets or other secret protected by the law and record uh, information uh, which are conducted on technical communication channels. Uh, but as a rule, computer information contains data on private life of the citizens. Therefore, the investigator can obtain such data on the basis of the reasoned resolution on receiving data components, secret protected by the law, uh, resolutions of seizure or search, uh, which should be approved by the prosecutor or his, or his deputy. Search and seizure of computer data as well as the preservation of such data is regulated in Belarusian law in parallel uh, with the standard measures of search and seizure of tangible objects. And it means that all the conditions and safeguards which apply to conducting a search is general are also applicable in the case of computer-related re search. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Um, I guess we have a discussion at, at the end for everybody. Uh, who is next? Hello to everybody. I am. Uh, everybody hear me? I am Octavian Busuyok from the Ministry of Interior, unit of uh, specialized unit of combating cyber crimes, Republic of Moldova. In uh, 2009, Moldova ratified the Convention on Cyber Crimes from 2001, and uh, is uh, by the law uh, 20 from uh, February 2009. 
and it was approved on uh, preventing and combating cyber crimes and it's a basic legal act uh, regulating the activities for preventing and combating uh, above mentioned crimes the main issues of covered by the law are the follows the general terms main principles of preventing and combating crimes function of uh, competent public authorities and institutions involved in uh, related crimes cooperation of the competent authorities obligation of the owner of informatic system and responsibilities of uh, information systems providers international cooperation uh, with competent authorities request of foreign authori um, authorities so the article 3 of this law uh, of preventing and combating cyber crimes uh, provide uh, the principles uh, of combating crimes and uh, one of them is uh, respecting human rights and freedoms the sixth article of this law uh, provide the obligation of owner of the informatic system and uh, the article 7 of uh, the law of preventing and combating cyber crimes uh, provides uh, um, uh, service providers uh, are obliged to perform confidentially the competent of, um, authorities request regarding the immediate preservation of computer data or of web traffic data which are in uh, danger of destruction or alteration within 120 days calendar days under the provision uh, of national legislation in uh, Moldova we can have a preservation uh, of computer data on the base of uh, ordinance of a prosecutor all of the others action we have to ha have an uh, authorization of the judge uh, according to the article 4 of the uh, law of preventing and combating cyber crimes the prosecutor general's office coordinates during the prosecution process at the request of criminal pro um, prosecution body or ex officio the immediate preservation of computer data or the web traffic data which are in danger of destruction or alteration under the criminal proce uh, procedure legislation uh, the prosecutor's uh, request for preservation is to be sent to the provider uh, the receiver of the order has to the uh, obligation to set up necessary measures to preserve the data and traffic data keeping confidentially and using proper techniques to ensure the integrity of the data and traffic data uh, also the article 7 provide that uh, uh, in the web traffic data are possessed by the several uh, service providers when the request service provider is obliged to submit the competent authority the necessary information for the identification of uh, the other service provider um, also an international preservation request is received by the 24-7 uh, contact point who orders a service provider to preserve data uh, written uh, requests are required uh, for preservation the actual collection is then the based uh, on a resolution of general prosecutor office and the decision by a judge this is uh, followed by the transmission of data to foreign uh, authorities um, and finally I want to thank you for uh, the opportunity to be present uh, on the, uh, this con uh, conference to take um, all this necessary information and recommendation what will be implemented in uh, legislation and activity from our country thank you thank you just a, a small comment which is similar to the one for for a, a small comment that is similar to the one for Bosnia Herzegovina uh, for domestic preservation your provision is limited to service providers the, the text of the text of article 7 of, of the law on preservation allows preservation requests to be sent to service providers yes. but not to other persons and to the owner of the syst informatic system huh? and to the owner of the informatic system Aha. okay well, then I have to check the translation because I, I thought it was only service providers no no an owner of the informatical system it's written the article on one second please uh, have to find it but um, it's not only for the internet providers but for the owners of informatic system okay. 
Okay, the uh, yeah, yeah, Art Article 7.1 says service providers are obliged and then many things are listed. Yeah, but you have uh, Article 6 uh, of the law that it provides the obligation of the owner of the informatical system. It's an another article, Article ah, okay. 6. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I will check this then. Okay. Sorry, I just want to add something. I'm not sure have you seen on, uh, on uh, my presentation regarding the Article 16. Uh, also, the court may issue an order to telecommunications operator or another legal person performing telecommunications service to deliver information. So it's on my presentation. I'm not sure that did you see or... Yeah, but you know what they do in, uh, I think in in Albania, in, in Serbia, in other countries, okay. they can send requests to a bank, for example. Okay. Or they can send requests to an individual person. And not necessarily telecom providers or providers of other services. Okay. okay. While Article 16 should cover any... I should be... Somebody should be able to send a request to me as an individual person. If okay. the data may be useful for something, right? So not and just a legal person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, uh, we, we continue over here. Hello, my name is Maxim Rybachuk. I'm from the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine uh, ratified uh, the Budapest Convention in 2005 and it uh, entered in force in Ukraine in 2006. Uh, it's already much made uh, to implement uh, the Budapest Convention into the legislation of Ukraine and uh, also in order to mm, implement the decisions of the case law of the um, European Court of Human Rights, uh, despite the Ukraine uh, has a continental legal system that does not recognize judicial practices as a source of law, with adoption of the law of Ukraine on implementing decisions and applying procedures of Europe uh, European Court of, Court of Human Rights on February 2006, uh, in Article uh, 17, this uh, Ukrainian unique law states that cuts uh, courts in Ukraine in their practices um, use decision uh, practices regarding Convention on Human Rights and uh, uh, fundamental freedoms uh, and court practices understood the decisions of the European Court of Human Rights as a source of law in Ukraine. Also, the freedoms of Ukrainian citizens are pro guarded by Article 31 of the Constitution of Ukraine, it states that everyone is guaranteed privacy of mail, telephone conversation, telegraph, and other correspondence. In Article uh, 32, uh, states that uh, no one shall be subject to interference in his or her personal and family life, except in cases envisaged by the Constitutions of Ukraine. The collection, storage, and use, and uh, dissemination of confidential information about the person without his or her consent shall be not permitted except in cases determined by law and uh, in nationals of national sec in interested uh, in interests of national security economic welfare and protection of human rights every citizen has the right to examine information about himself or herself that are not a state secret or the secret protected by the law uh, Article 34 also said that everyone is guaranteed the right of freedom of thought and speech and free expression of their will and beliefs. Everyone uh, can freely collect, store and use and disseminate information by oral written and other means of his uh, choose. Uh, the existence of such rights may not be restricted by law, in the may be restricted by the laws in interest of national security, the territorial, uh, the public order, as the purpose of uh, preventing disturbances or crimes. Uh, the Constitution of Ukraine and Ukrainian laws do not contain any provisions regarding the principles of proportionality in regards to the limitation of rights and liberties on individuals. But in June of this year, there was a proposition in the, our mm, parliament to adopt a new law that will implement the mm, principle of proportionality to our national legislation, and it was already discussed in one of the, in the meetings of the, our parliament's committee. Uh, also, we adopted mm, the law 
regarding the protection of the uh, personal information. Uh, in order, uh, you know, Ukrainian um, law enforcement agencies, in order to um, conduct any investigative actions or gain access to the data, have always to receive a warrant. Uh, in order to receive this warrant, uh, they, they should present a criminal case and, uh, uh, and the evidence um, why this investigating actions must be conducted to the judge. Also, they present to the judge the name of the subject whose computer data should be collected or uh, controlled or intercepted. Uh, his uh, personal data, such as address, so he be can be identified. What types of channels uh, from which data will be into that will be intercepted? Will from which data will be intercepted? The period during which content data should be intercepted. That may be um, in the warrant. Uh, they are always uh, <coughs> big provisions on the dates when this must be intercepted. It's up to two months, but it can be extended upon the request. Uh, also, there is um, the we are state stating the title of institutions that are responsible for real-time collection of computer data of in or interceptions. No so other institutions can conduct the interceptions um, except the institutions that was authorized by the uh, judge. The, decisions, uh, the decision of judge is a final and um, also the prosecutor's office are always responsible for observation. Are uh, always responsible for observation uh, of the actions that are conducted by police and uh, the actions uh, may, may be stopped by prosecutor office if they are uh, illegal or they damaging the personal rights. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Your, your new criminal procedure code will enter into force uh, in two weeks. In two weeks. In two weeks. In two weeks. Okay. I'm, I'm happy about that because I've been already working on on this with your authorities. I think for the past eleven years or so. <laughs> about uh, one week ago, we have a re-elected parliament with a new political parties, so uh, that may be amended. You know, because. <laughs> the um, okay, it depends in which direction will be amended because, uh, or even postponed, as we think, or postponed, or postponed. Oh God. Please not. <laughs> <laughs> but with regard, if if amendments are done, but we don't want to encourage amendments, I think it should end into first for, uh, into force first. But um, also in the new one, there are no specific measures on preservation or, or similar. No such measure, but uh, there are different procedures to get a court order in order to start the collection of computer data. Okay, for in that sense, very good because that will clarify a number of things um, with regard to condition safeguards in general. Yes, and we also will have a new position in court, such as investigative judge, that will authorize uh, such uh, warrants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, Turkey. Uh, Tayyar Ögmen, uh, Minister of Justice of Turkey. Uh, Mutual Assistant Department in Criminal Matters. Uh, uh, related to Article 15 of Cyber Crime Convention, uh, there are uh, provisions in uh, our laws. Uh, at the first in constitution gives most important related to Caesar uh, and search of the uh, evidence uh, concerning criminal uh, investigation and uh, procedure and comply with the uh, constitution provision uh, Turkish penal court was amended uh, in 2005 uh, and it, it is the amendment is also based on European uh, retention directive. Uh, related to Article 19, uh, search and seizure of stored computer data is uh, uh, written in the Article 134 of Turkish Penal Code, Procedure Code. Um, According to Article uh, 
public prosecutor uh, when he conducted the investigation in terms of uh, cyber crime and to request the judge to give an order uh, uh, and <coughs> to to ta to take an uh, issue uh, related to warrant on the search of computer system computer program and computer records according to uh, paragraph 2 uh, enables to uh, seize the tools and equipment after decoding and uh, making copies, then these uh, computers and other devices should be immediately delivered to uh, parties. Uh, but in some cases, uh, maybe uh, it is not possible to uh, make a copy uh, in the crime scene they can be taken to a forensic laboratory, laboratory and uh, by uh, accused person or his uh, lawyer. And then at the forensic department, it is, uh, it is, it is taken in the uh, sealed bag from the crime scene to forensic laboratory with the uh, accused person or most of them uh, his uh, lawyer. And then at the forensic department is open, although the uh, lawyer is uh, still available next to them. So it is important in terms of uh, uh, the the trust uh, of the evidence because uh, digital evidence is very uh, sensitive. In the in the uh, judicial process, it may be challenged by the uh, lawyer or he, uh, by by the uh, accused liar lawyer. And this is at the forensic lapper is copied and then uh, it can be delivered uh, to uh, parties uh, and if they request they can also uh, they can be made a copy of the uh, uh, data evidence which is uh, returned uh, in the investigation. Uh, I would like to talk about in this test, uh, there, there is a uh, new uh, department in uh, Interior Minister of uh, Turkey. Uh, I in 2011, uh, it has just uh, started, Department of Computer Crime. Uh, where the, my uh, colleagues, Mr. Murad and uh, Mr. Omer, are working. Is, uh, Mr. Omer is head of this department. And um, uh, last Thursday and Friday, there was a uh, education, there was a uh, training in uh, Ankara related to uh, IPA project. Uh, it was about the digital evidence. Uh, also, uh, Nigel Jones and other colleagues were invited to this department. and. They, s uh, they share their uh, impression uh, in terms of forensic laboratory, uh, in, in terms of the preservation, uh, the mm, protection of the digital evidence. And this is also good for, uh, in terms of to uh, um, uh, prevent cyber crime uh, in Turkey. I would like to uh, also uh, say that uh, when the forensic uh, certified uh, law enforcement uh, take this copy, the hash value is uh, very important and it is verified and calculated and verified because uh, this is also important in terms of the steps later uh, at the, uh, uh, during the judicial uh, process. Maybe it was challenged by the uh, lawyer. I would like to talk about uh, also uh, Article 21. Uh, it's, it's also uh, designed uh, in the uh, Turkish uh, Penal Procedure Code, art Article 135. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, 
fruit. Before that, uh, the, the problem that other my colleague has has been experiencing is that the, uh, related to Article 17 uh, uh, data preservation and related to Article 18 uh, disclosure of uh, uh, traffic data. Uh, although they are not uh, uh, specifically uh, written in our uh, criminal code. But uh, there is a law, uh, number uh, 5651, uh, about the regulation of internet publications. And this law requires uh, provider uh, to, uh, to, yeah, with, with the uh, data retention, send the data, uh, and this, this law is based on a uh, European retention uh, directive. But uh, it will be clear uh, if, the, if you mention this uh, uh, provision in uh, criminal procedure law. We are, we are thinking about that uh, we will take it account uh, in the process of legislation. Uh, the other thing is problem is related to uh, traffic data uh, is it uh, is it uh, the the nature of data or is uh, is it uh, only uh, it should be accepted as a traffic uh, data and so there the, the provision of the procedures different uh, but in for for uh, and the interception of data should be uh, ordered by the judge, uh, but at first prosecutor should be bring the before the court. Uh, but sometime in, in, in case of urgency, prosecutors can start this process at, at, uh, uh, at the end of the days, 24 hours, at, uh, should, uh, sh he should bring the uh, case to the judge to confirm it. In case of judge dismissed this uh, the request of the prosecutor, uh, this evidence or it's not evidence actually it's it is uh, it will um, accepted as a uh, illegal evidence and it is uh, diminished, and then uh, these documents inform also the person who who were uh, intercepted who whose uh, communication were intercepted uh, by the prosecutor decisions. This is also important uh, in terms of the uh, um, human rights. And there are also uh, in, in, the, in the practice uh, when uh, we get a, a request by our uh, uh, Department of Computer Crime uh, from other 24-7 uh, uh, contact points. And uh, by our uh, department, it is uh, forwarded to prosecutor, and prosecutor brings this uh, in front of the judge and get. Although it is not uh, officially binding, but uh, we follow this, uh, this procedure in terms of human rights. But this is, I think, uh, this is this is not certain. Uh, we should discuss that because uh, the aim of cybercrime, I think, the nature of the data is important, uh, according to my belief. The, the other data is, I think, uh, shouldn't have to be bring uh, to the uh, in front of the judge. Prosecutors uh, with the uh, law enforcement officer prosecutor should uh, make an order about that. It will be, it will be uh, beneficial in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of get rid of, of uh, unwanted workload in the judicial process, and this this will also make the process will uh, make the process longer. This is this is the other challenge I think.
rest of them. Uh, I would like to, uh, there, there are uh, provisions uh, in criminal procedure code uh, related to uh, uh, interception of data and uh, or this is also important in terms of privacy. Uh, accused person or his lawyer houses or residence couldn't be uh, intercepted. Why this this uh, law gives more importance to uh, privacy life of people? And I would like to, uh, as a last, I would like to talk about uh, uh, provisions uh, in terms of privacy and the secrecy of communication uh, written in the Turkish Panel Court. Uh, this 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 brought to by 2005 amendment based on the uh, European um, e-privacy direct directive and according to uh, to article um, it is uh, recording data of people uh, were uh, prohibited uh, is pr is prohibited uh, whether their aim is political or religious or other kind of uh, gender, gender, this is uh, this is uh, uh, prohibited. Secondly, uh, uh, communications uh, 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 record uh, communications between people uh, is also uh, uh, penalized in terms of the ordinary people, uh, not related to law enforcement, public prosecutor. Uh, as a nutshell, uh, we, we are taking into account these uh, provisions into our process um, to make a change legislation in our uh, legal system. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Just a point, um, data retention does not replace preservation, so you may still need to think about specific preservation provisions um, in the future. Very last but not least, Croatia. I mean, Croatia is already well documented, but still, uh, a few, in few still minutes. Nevertheless, just a few words. Uh, okay, so by way of introduction, my name is Marko Juric and I am a research assistant at the Faculty of Law of the Zagreb University, but I'm here today in the name of the Croatian Ministry of Justice who have asked me to come here and give this short presentation about uh, uh, Article 15 in the Croatian legislation. So to start from the top, I would like to say a few words about our constitution, which contains several provisions regarding the protection of privacy. In that uh, context, uh, the protection of personal data, communications and home and other premises such as dwellings is guaranteed to have constitutional protection. Also, which is also very important, is that uh, there is a clear obliga obligation to consider the principle of proportionality ev uh, in each and every circumstances when the rights and uh, freedoms of the individuals are uh, concerned. In this respect, it, is, it should be noted that the sorry, closer. In this respect, it should be noted that the Croatian constitutional it's a recent practice is paying more attention to this principle and also uh, when deciding sorry Did you okay yeah so when deciding cases about uh, proportionality it is also very uh, taking into account the case law of the Strasbourg court uh, obviously section 2 of the Croatia of the convention is implemented into Croatian legislation by the criminal procedure act which is the most important legal source in this uh, aspect. However, there are also several other laws uh, which do not impl implement convention for themselves, but nevertheless they limit the rights of the individuals in significant matter. So I will just say in the end a few words about that. Uh, another thing regarding constitution and CPA, I will just call it criminal procedure act just to make this shorter, uh, is that the constitu constitutionality of the CPA was tested uh, like uh, three months ago and the Constitutional Court decided to strike down a significant number of the uh, provisions of the CPA. I think that almost 10% of the provisions were declared unconstitutional. However, uh, the Court did not object uh, in any manner to any of the provisions which implement the Section 2 of the Convention. So in that regard, we can say that they have passed the constitutional scrutiny. Uh, 
uh, when we take a look at the catalog of measures defined by the section two, uh, what we are clearly missing in creation legislation is measure defined by Article 16, expedited preservation of stored computer data. It is not implemented as a standalone measure in creation legislation, so the only way to obtain uh, preservation of stored computer data is by using the production order or search and seizure of computer data. However, in that case, I believe that we are losing the quality of expedited because it takes a special procedure to, to do that. Uh, Okay, so I've not, now I will just walk you very quickly through the procedural measures and mention all the safeguards which are connected to them. In this aspect, you will notice that the situation is almost identical to the Serbian and to some extent Macedonian and one in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As regards production order, uh, the CPA stipulates that the computer data and subscriber information has to be handed to state attorney upon his written request in certain form. They have to be integral, uh, original, legible, and understandable, which means that they, if they are encrypted, they should be decrypted. Uh, and the state attorney is authorized to stipulate the term in which the person who has the data is obliged to uh, transfer them. Uh, conditions and safeguards used in this uh, matters uh, are most of are the following. First of all, we have to have the written request. This I already mentioned. Then we have certain privileged subjects who are exempted from duty to hand over data. Uh, most important, this includes uh, uh, the suspect, I mean the person against uh, whom the procedure is uh, directed, but also some other persons like the ones who are exempted from duty to testify. Uh, when taking uh, data from the individuals, uh, state attorney and police should pay special attention to the rules and principles of data uh, protection and only those data which may be used to determine facts in the specific criminal proceedings can be uh, ordered to be produced. Uh, there are also slightly different uh, safeguards and conditions in the situation. The, the state attorney is uh, attempting to freeze data uh, in the sense that it will take it from the from the person who the data belongs to and keep it with uh, uh, with himself. Uh, in that case, it can that measure can last only for six months, and it has to be ordered by the uh, investigative judge. Uh, regarding search of computer other devices measure in creation law, it, I can simply say that it is regulated in parallel to traditional measure of uh, searching movable property, which means that almost the same conditions and safeguards apply in this apply in this regard. Uh, most important of this is the which the colleague from Serbia was mentioning at the beginning, and that the in order to search a computer, we have to have a degree of probability that criminal offense has been committed and that uh, traces or evidences which are important for this proceeding will be found with certain person or in certain premises. In this case, inside of the computer, of course. Other safeguards include uh, adequate legal basis for conducting a search. This can be either the consent of the person against the measure, is, whom the measure is concerned or most, more importantly, search warrant. And then the CPA also describes in detail all the qualities of search uh, warrant. I will not bother you with this. It includes that it has to be issued by investigating judge, uh, must contain a statement of reasons, etc., etc. Also, we have a, a provision which requires that two witnesses be present to the search and that search record is made in relation to every to every measure. Uh, another safeguard which I consider very important is that uh, is the legal consequences for unlawful search. In the case that search is unlawful, these evidences cannot be admitted to the proceeding and you cannot uh, base your final decision this is a decision on, on such evidence. Uh, as regards measure which is defined in Article 21 of the, uh, of the Convention, interception of content data, here we have, I would say, binder full of conditions and safeguards. Uh, first of all, that measure by its very name in Croatian legislation is, cons is considered to be special and very intrusive, and the CPA says literally that it is a measure which restricts constitutional rights of citizens, which is very good because it clearly admits the, that the constitutionality here is limited. On the other hand, I don't like this wording because it suggests that some other measures are not so problematic from the constitutional viewpoint, and I will say a few words about this uh, later on. Uh, there are basically two measures which fall into this category. The first one is surveillance and interception of telephone conversations and other means of listening communicating, and the other one is interception, gathering, and recording of electronic data, also remotely. Uh, 
uh, these measures I have already have very significant safeguards. First of all, they can be applied only in uh, only for a limited catalog of criminal offenses, which are specifically defined in the CPA. These offenses include uh, all of the measures which are defined in the substantive part of, part of the uh, convention, but also some other offenses which are considered particularly uh, grave according to the Croatian legislator. Uh, the other thing is that interception of content data can only be used as a subsidiary method of uh, evidence collection, meaning that uh, we can use this measure only if there is no other measure which limits the rights of individuals in, in less way. And finally, it can be used only against speci uh, specified persons and objects, which is also extensively regulated in the, in the CPA. Uh, from the procedural perspective, uh, the measure of interception of content data has to be ordered by the judge, of course, uh, upon the written and reasonable mo motion by the state attorney, although there are some exceptions to this. Uh, in certain cases, the state attorney will be able to issue this order by himself, but nevertheless, such an order will subsequently be also, again, subject to judicial scrutiny. Uh, the warrant to intercept data must be reasoned, of course, and uh, the limitation and the duration of this measure is limited in time. It goes with uh, six months and then exceptional circumstances. You can prolong it for six more months, and finally, in very exceptional circumstances, it, uh, you can have it for another six months. So totally, that would be uh, 18. Uh, the question I have uh, skipped uh, until now is the situation with the traffic data. And I have decided to leave this for the end because I find this uh, topic the weakest past, part of the creation legislation. First of all, the regulation of this issue is very complex. And in my view, it is constantly on the edge of constitutionality, and sometimes it goes over that edge, if you, in, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, we have to know that the Croatia, during, the, during its negotiation uh, procedure with the EU, implemented the uh, Data Retention Directive, and this was done via uh, Act on Electronic Communication. Now, uh, this will not be familiar with everyone here, but in Croatian and in some other uh, jurisdictions in the region, we have something which is, is, we have one category of laws which are called organic laws. These are laws that uh, describe or deal with the human rights issues and some other stuff, and they have to be passed in the parliament with a qualified majority. However, this was not the case in the Croatian elec external electronic communications. However, a legislator in its uh, last amendment to this, uh, to this act, in a way, rectified this and passed it with a uh, with a valid majority. Uh, according to the Act on Electronic Communications, uh, the data retention has a dual purpose. It serves as a basis for criminal investigations and procedure, uh, procedures, and also in the context of national security and defense. Uh, retention period uh, implemented in Croatia is 12 months. Uh, the reason I'm saying that the traffic data regulation is problematic in Croatia is that um, there is no clear authority in the CPA describing the necessary legal basis for uh, collection and use of traffic data. And in practice, the state attorneys and police uh, use the general, uh, how do you call it? general authority to go conduct inquiries into the criminal offenses in order to gain access to the, uh, in order to gain access to the uh, traffic data. Uh, Da, 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 da. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if we take a look at the laws which, the, which deal with the security, uh, security system security intelligence, we will find that uh, the level of protection of citizens or conditions and safeguards which are implied in those laws are much more serious than ones which we can find in the uh, law on criminal procedures. So from this matter, I believe that the first thing we in, we, we choose to change in our law on criminal procedures should be this issue of uh, traffic data collection and use. Also, Professor Dragišević mentioned in its um, uh, paper, and also Professor Korf commented on that, uh, that we have one very special provision in the Police Duties and Powers Act, which enables almost any police officer to gain access to uh, traffic data, and in this case, it goes almost without any checks or conditions or safeguards in this respect. Uh, I believe that this is also very problematic from the, uh, from the human rights and from the constitutional perspective. Uh, to my opinion, if Croatian 
constitutional court would one day, one day decide to test the constitutionality of uh, these laws which regulate traffic data uh, collection and use, I believe that they would have to declare them unconstitutional in both formal but also the substantive manner. So thank you very much and if you have any questions I'm free to answer them. Uh, I have just one comment on my colleagues. Uh, I already said that in May uh, on the Octopus Conference, if you have a system that controls itself, that just have internal control, it's just a time when misuses are going to happen. So uh, uh, two or three weeks ago, we have a major affair with this uh, collecting uh, of uh, real-time collecting of traffic data because of the uh, less control. They don't have external control which can be applied, so it was just the time with when, uh, when that uh, misuses uh, happened. Uh, the problem is that we have a uh, center. What? It's okay now. Okay, so uh, Operation Tec uh, Technical Center is one state body which has direct access to the databases and to the communication system of all major of all uh, telecommunication service providers in the Republic of Croatia. In this way, and using this uh, center, the state authorities are able to gain access into data almost without any scrutiny without any uh, prior checks because uh, the even, even, even the uh, service providers are not, do not see uh, what data state attorney is uh, requesting and taking in this manner. Thank you. Uh, this, this question of access to retained data, retained along the lines of what you have in the EU under the directive and similar laws in other countries, is indeed a, a difficult one. In some countries, you have very few, a few thousand requests per year of access to, to, disclo to dis uh, request for disclosure of retained traffic data. And in other extremes, you have five, six hundred thousand in the UK, you have one million in Poland. Uh, it's very diverse of how that is applied. In this, in this case, it's even worse because uh, there's not uh, in question uh, retained data, then the real-time collection of traffic data, even worse than just collecting existing data, you know. Okay. Um, the proposal, my proposal would be we make a very short seven-minute break then we go into a, a discussion among, among some points and we from there go directly into the remaining discussion. The bus today, the buses today, the shuttles leave from here at 5.30. So we should finish around 5 so that we can prepare for the shuttle buses, okay? So please come back in about seven minutes at the latest that we continue the discussion and, and finish on time.